Wright with CoinOp TV, and I'm here with Ian Millam, the art director on Dead Space 2. So, Dead Space, the first one, was such an awesome game. Thanks. How will this game go, how will the second one go about surprising us and scaring us a little bit more? Well, we got a lot of new tricks in our bag. Uh, one of the real things about being scary is you can't do the same thing over and over again, right? People sort of, yeah. they, they sort of get fatigued by it. So part of what we're doing this time is switching it up a lot more. It's not the same horror tricks over and over again. And sometimes we'll even let Isaac sort of turn the tables a little bit, maybe sort of get the better of the necromorphs, maybe give people a false sense of confidence. And then when we bring back the horror, it's fresh and impactful. So in the original game, we had a lot of sympathy for Isaac. Yes, you know, he was looking for his girl. How are we going to feel emotionally connected for him as he's moving through the sprawl? Well, it's going to be quite a bit more this time for a couple reasons. Um, one of it is that Isaac had a really tough time last time, right? So he's psychologically pretty fragile right now, and part of Dead Space 2 is going to be him coming to grips with that thing because his mind has been really broken. The other, the other big deal this time is that before, he was sort of an anonymous guy in a mask. Now, Isaac is the one calling the shots. He's the one moving forward. You totally see his face. He talks now. He's a full-on character driving the action. And of course, that leads to more emotional investment and relationship. So if Isaac is in charge, I mean, shouldn't he be more prepared? He doesn't have, like, any weapons going into this one, no armor, nothing like that. Yeah, like, why doesn't he have all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, why doesn't well, he already have all that stuff? Don't worry, we've got a good explanation for that. See, it's it's three years later, and Isaac sort of wakes up in this new location, the Sprawl, which is this huge city in space, and he doesn't know how he got there, and he does not have any of his old stuff. So he's got to cobble it together from what he can find in the Sprawl. So he's got some new tools and some new stuff to show, but uh, yeah, that he didn't get any of his old stuff back, sorry. All right, guys, that wraps it up on Dead Space 2. It comes out in January 2011, so keep your eyes out for that. Again, I'm Haley Bright for CoinOp TV, and we will see you guys next time.